Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the family of ellipse whose equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 and we have two parameters a and b which are related by the equation a plus b equal to c. Now from this relation, we can find b as c minus a by replacing that in the given equation, we get x square by a square plus y square by c minus a whole square equal to 1. Now to get the envelope, we have to differentiate the given equation with respect to the parameter and eliminate the parameter. Now we are going to differentiate this equation with respect to the parameter a. Now the first term is x square into 1 by a square and other than a remaining are constants so x square is a constant which is kept as it is and 1 by a square differentiation this is actually a power minus 2 when we differentiate minus 2 a power minus 3 so it is minus 2 by a cube in the same way second term y square is a constant minus 2 by c minus a whole cube into differentiation of c minus a will be minus 1. So we completed the differentiation and on the other side the differentiation of 1 is 0. These two minus we can cancel and this second term we shall take to the other side. So this is minus 2x square by a cube equal to minus 2y square by c minus a whole cube. We can cancel minus 2 on both the sides. We left with x square by a cube equal to y square by c minus a whole cube. We have to rearrange this term so that to get x by x square by a square and y square by c minus a whole square form so then we can replace that as 1. So from this we have x square by a cube which is written as x square by a square whole division a because this is totally x square by a cube. In the same way this is y square by c minus a whole square by c minus a this is totally y square by c minus a whole cube and using the ratio property we can add the numerators and write it as a separate new ratio that is x square by a square plus y square by c minus a whole square whole division and in the denominator we can write the sum of these two denominators that is a plus c minus a. We can cancel these two and from this equation x square by a square plus y square by c minus a whole square is 1. So we can write this entire term as 1. So once again this can be rewritten as x square by a cube equal to y square by c minus a whole cube equal to 1 by c. Now by taking these two term we are going to find a by cross multiplication a cube equal to c x square but we need a square. So from this we take this 3 to the other side so a equal to c power 1 by 3 and x power 2 by 3. But we need a square, right? So a square will be c power 2 by 3 and x power 4 by 3. In the same way, by taking these two by cross multiplication, c minus a whole cube equal to c y square. So c minus a equal to c power 1 by 3 y power 2 by 3. So c minus a whole square will become c power 2 by 3 y power 4 by 3 because we squared on both the sides. 
Now these two, we are going to replace it in that equation to get the envelope. So our original equation, let's copy it once again. X square by A square plus Y square by C minus A whole square equal to 1. So let's copy that here. That is X square by A square plus Y square by C minus A whole square equal to 1. So X square by this becomes C power 2 by 3 X power 4 by 3 plus y square by c power 2 by 3 y power 4 by 3 equal to 1. Now here we are going to combine these two. This when we take to the numerator power minus 4 by 3. So power when I group 2 minus 4 by 3 becomes after taking LCM 6 minus 4 which is 2 by 3. So we get x power 2 by 3 by c power 2 by 3. In the same way, here it is y power 2 by 3 by c power 2 by 3 equal to 1. Now we have a common denominator. So this is written as x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 by c power 2 by 3 equal to 1. By cross multiplication, we get x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to c power 2 by 3. This is our required equation of the envelope.